So I've been using the Air Day Sling for a while now, uh, almost half a year, I believe. And so I'm a little unhappy with this bag, to say the least. Um, when I first got the product and I reviewed it uh, for a little bit, I thought it was pretty great. I, you know, did a review. I'll leave that link down below the like button there. And, you know, it, it was good. I think it had all the upgrades that I wanted, like I mentioned in that video where, you know, this is the better shape, it had more utility for basically the same size. And even though it technically has like less volume uh, for liter, but like it just, you can just pack more stuff in here. Just the fact that it's, you know, they did a good job uh, for the most part designing it. I think the one major design flaw, which I'll get into a little bit later is, it, it, it really uh, deters me from using this uh, bag uh, from this point on. I've been using this bag, uh, particularly on my Hawaii trip uh, a couple months ago. And, um, you know, I decided to bring my camera here, my travel camera, I bring my um, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and some other stuff to put in here just because it can fit so much. And I do like the fact that in the back here, you get this nice, like, really wide area put your phone and other things. And it's just basically, it's a better upgrade than the Steady Sling, uh, which I have. And that one, the um, back isn't as like easily accessible as this one, just because that one's a little bit placed higher up. Other things I liked is just the fact that this is just organized really well. You can put other things in here. Obviously it has to be a little bit flat because if you don't, then it's gonna take up space in the other sections. But um, you know, you get a zipper area right here. Behind that, of course, you get this like really deep pocket just to put whatever you need and then you got the mesh pockets um, right here as well so you can see it I did use it a little bit I actually put some sunscreen in here and like it got all like messed up and I um, mean on the other side you do have your other uh, mesh pockets here and that's all you have so they did upgrade that right the previous model didn't really have those things and so having these things added you know as an evolution of their other products integrated here was it's just great and let's talk about the front here so you got this little tab pull tab here you can just pull it open and you see it has gusseted kind of like this rubber texture to kind of keep the water out which is also awesome especially for somewhere like hawaii where uh it can be rainy depending on the season and it's, it's quite deep you also get a little keychain loop here so that's nice it's plastic here but i never really found that to be an issue um it is just open at the bottom here the top does not have any um, gap here so you can only put stuff at the bottom half which I do wish that the top was open um, I'm not sure why they decided to just seal that off but that's fine so also one of the upgrades that they did uh, compared to the other models I really like that this is kind of like flattened out and kind of really hidden and so it's not really sticking out the top here so it's a really nice aesthetic look um, all in all and you can just you can just carry it like this though for the most part, I really don't do it like this that much. I just maybe just do it for a little bit and then use it as an assistant to put this on my uh, on my body. And so that's where kind of the issue is with this um, bag is, is just that this strap system is terrible. Uh, I don't know how else to put it. It's just bad. When I went to Hawaii, I was using like I said, I mentioned that I put this camera and some other stuff in the bag. And so if I can show you guys, you see this um, left hand side of the camera here with the, where the viewfinder is, you'll see that the device, it's, it's not straight anymore. And if I pull it to the side and you guys show you, yeah, there's some damage there. Uh, there's also some damage at the bottom there as well. And so I had this bag or had this camera you know placed in like this like so right so it's it's placed in like this in this position and so you know obviously the da part that got damaged was the part that you know fell there and so how it fell was because of the strap system it was not due to anything that I did um, you know it was just this thing just came loose uh, this meaning this magnetic uh, buckle strap that they use from Fidlock. And yeah, this thing is like, I, I, when I first got it, I was thinking, okay, it's a little thin, but in my use case, uh, when I was going around the city here uh, where I live, it seemed to be fine. So I didn't really think much of it. 
And so when I got it, I brought it to Hawaii, you know, lo and behold, this thing just comes off and, you know, the whole thing just unravels and falls down. And yeah, there goes, you know, a $1,400 camera. Like fortunately though, this camera still functions just fine. Um, everything works. Um, so, you know, I'm lucky for that, but you know, it could have been a lot worse. And so this is why I'm making this video now, because I wanted to give you guys an update on that previous video, just so that, you know, if you're watching this in the future, um, maybe past this uh, point of this recording, you know, just be aware that there is an issue. And so let me get into more details of that. So because this strap is set up in this position, right? So the uh, day, this day sling here, it's the buckle here is placed towards um, kind of like closest to the bag here, which is more of a setup of a uh, kind of like a sling bag, but it's more for carrying on the front of your body. And so what, what happens is that when you um, rotate the, the bag, like this, right? Now the uh, buckle is on basically your hip, near your hip. And so depending on how you, how tightly you put this, right? And you're dealing with gravity, right? And so when this is flipped this way, it's very easy to just, you know, get this thing out. And then when it gets out, everything just falls apart, right? And so, um, I think, so there's a couple of things that I think that's going on here, right? So firstly, the positioning of this buckle, right? Allows it to be in, when you put it in that position, it, it does cause uh, potential issues. And so um, those two things, you know, can lead to that um, dislodging of the buckle system. And so I think in my use case, when this happened, when my bag fell from my body, left my body, it happened when the bag was on my back. And so I had it rotated, right? Instead of having it, the bag in the front of your body, it was on the back of my body. And so that was when it happened. And so after that, I basically didn't use the bag in that position. I just kept the bag in the front of my body for the rest of the trip and nothing ever happened. And obviously I was more acutely aware of, you know, this having an issue. And, you know, I did some digging a little bit afterwards uh, when I got back home and I saw that, yeah, other people have mentioned this problem even in other reviews, but they never really brought it up as a huge problem or um, as accidentals to the point where it's actually an issue. And so that's why I'm bringing this up because man, like to have this happen, um, you know, this is not great. And so even though, yes, it does lock in, and you can't really do it, like unlodge it. This, like, you know, it's pretty sturdy in that sense, but if you go this direction, it's really easy to just flies off really quick. And if you guys see my other video of the uh, city sling, that one, the strap is placed, or the buckle is placed right in the middle here in between two sections. So when you flip the bag onto your back, the buckle is actually in the middle of your chest generally speaking. And so you're able to kind of just use that as leverage and just hold that if you want to. But if you do with this bag, the, the buckles next to your hip and you know, it's at a weird angle where, um, essentially, you know, it's kind of like acting as the point end of your, um, bag, depending, especially depending on how you wear the bag. And, um, when I checked air's website, they show this bag where uh, the model's wearing it in that position as well. So that to me shows that they didn't really test this design um, quite well. And because people are having issues like this, I'm surprised more people aren't complaining about it. And so with that being said, I cannot recommend this bag. Um, it is not a, a bag I would recommend using just uh, out of safety for your um, products that you're putting in here. I just, I just, I just can't recommend it. Um, I would recommend their other products though. Maybe their old, uh, day sling, which I still have. I'm probably going to just basically swap to that one, um, for things that I need to carry more things in. Um, the city sling is still great. 
Um, their other products are still great from what I've used, but this is a no-go for sure. I cannot recommend this at all. So, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Peace.